Hi, this is Scott with Active Element. Now that we have our used machine here, we're going to take you through step by step on how to get it installed so you can start getting your dishes clean. To start out, you want to place the machine in the idle location, and that's just determined by the layout of your restaurant. Once in place, go ahead and level the machine by adjusting the thread legs to ensure the machine doesn't wobble. This could cause a lot of damage when you're running it. The next step is to connect the electrical power to the dishwasher. It's always a good idea to consult a professional electrician when dealing with electrical components. Ensure the building electrical service matches your dishwasher machine. And in this case, it requires 240 volts, three phase. Now it's time to complete the plumbing. As with the electrical, it's a good idea to consult a professional plumber. Be sure to install a shutoff valve at the machine for the incoming water supply. The incoming pressure should be at least 20 PSI, plus or minus five, and reduce the pressure if it's over 25 PSI. Then connect the drain to the bottom of the dishwasher to a floor drain. Next, you can go ahead and hook up your pre-rinse sprayer and faucet. Another thing to consider is the hot water requirements for your machine and whether or not it comes with a built-in hot water booster. Ours is a low temp machine that requires a minimum water temp of 120 degrees and a recommended water temp of 140. If you're in an area with hard water, you might even consider installing a water softener. Contact your local water company for hardness levels and install the recommended softener of over three grains per gallon. The next step is to install the chemical pumps and chemical pump tubing. Some dishwashers have built-in pumps, so if this is the case with yours, go ahead and skip to the next step. Connect the detergent pump tubing into the fitting located at the back of the dishwasher. This will add product directly into the wash tank. Then we're going to go ahead and connect the rinse and sanitizer from the outlet of the pump into the correct fittings on top of the machine. These products are added in the final rinse step. Next, connect the chemical supply lines to the input of the pump and install the pickup tube that goes into the chemical container. Then, go ahead and repeat for each pump. Then, you want to attach the clean and soiled dish table on either side. Attach by placing the lip over the side of the dishwasher. And again here, level using the threaded legs at the bottom. Once you know the placement and they are level, apply some sealant to the lip and reattach to the machine. For added stability, attach tables to the dishwasher using screws. Well, that's about it for the installation. We hope you found this video helpful. In the next video, we're going to show you how to start up your machine and get a load of dishes going.